So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about while loops specifically and just refresh you on what a loop is. So if you remember from before, a loop is just some way of repeating uh, an action or a sequence of code or just one line of code um, until we want to stop repeating that line of code, either via a for loop or a while loop. Um, to go into a bit more detail there, let's imagine I want to uh, run this line of code, this print hello world five times. Not a problem, I can copy and paste it five times. But if I wanted to run it 5,000 times, it would take me a long time to manually copy and paste um, the print hello world uh, line. Yeah, I wouldn't want to copy and paste it 5,000 times. It would be a big waste of space and it would make my program file far too large, right? So instead, I'd want to, you know, maybe make a loop that runs, you know, this line of code 5,000 times and then stops. Because then I just make a for loop here, put the code that I want to run in, set it to run 5,000 times, and it saves me from copying and pasting this 5,000 times. So that's the whole point of a loop. Now, a while loop. What is a while loop? A while loop will keep on executing code whilst a condition is met or true okay so what do we mean by this so a while loop might for example keep running until a count variable hits value five something like that right and the form of the while loop is something similar to this well it actually is this it's while condition or while condition is true execute code and notice that i made some uh, curly brackets here so we use the keyword while uh, we state our condition which could be you know some kind of logical comparison operator could, could be anything really and inside of the curly brackets, we put our code, and this will keep executing whilst this condition is true. Simple enough, right? I'll just rewrite that in another way. Basically the same thing, just to reiterate it. While condition, I'll put is true. Execute code until condition, oops is no longer true so let's make a while loop shall we what i'm going to need for this while loop is a variable that's either true or false oops i also need to um close off my multi-line comment so i'll make a variable of type int we'll call it count and we'll say count is equal to zero okay we'll make another variable um we'll call it truth not proof, just truth value. And we'll say it's equal to true. Okay, simple enough. And we're going to say while truth value or while truth value is true. Okay, while the condition is true, i.e. while truth value is true. Do this. So what I want it to do is print Oops, not print a bunch of money signs. I want it to print hello um, universe. Okay, make it a bit different. Spice it up. I'll put it in all capitals as well. Yeah, just spice it up a little bit. The hello world there. And we're going to say that count is equal to count plus one. Okay, I'll explain why we do this in a minute. And then I'm going to say if count is more than four, i.e. it's equal to 5 or more, then truth value is equal to false. Now, have a little guess what's going to happen. I'll give you a few seconds to guess what's going to happen here. And now I'm going to run the code. So let's have a look. Hello Universe has been printed out five times. Why five times exactly? Well, I'll tell you why, right? 
The first time that we run this loop, we print out hello universe and then count becomes equal to value one. Okay. The second time we print and then count is equal to value two. So we printed two times. The third time count is equal to value three. The fourth time we print hello universe and count is equal to the value four. The fifth time we print hello universe and the count value is now equal to five. Then instead of you know going into a new loop, we have to we go into this if statement here and if count is more than four, true value is equal to false. So this true value then becomes false. We go back to the start of this while loop and this while loop checks to see if true value is true. Because it's no longer true, this loop finishes. So in order to end a loop, uh, you need to make whatever the condition is false, or you need to have a way to make it false. Okay? There's a reason why you need to uh, find a way to make it false, and I'll show you why. So let's just say while uh, I make another true value, we'll say variable truth value two, and we'll say it's equal to true. Right? We'll say while truth value two da 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 da. da print hello Ooh just make up a bunch of text there doesn't really matter what the text is and let's see what happens so i've run it i've run it i've run it it's still there look it's still pressed in it's still trying to run wonder why it's still trying to run terminated by signal 24 well what does that mean Right, I have to explain to you what that means. So basically, I'll just tell you what happened here. This true value here is true, okay? And whilst it's true, we have to print out this ridiculous text that I made, right? Because this true value 2 never becomes false, this will print forever because this, this runs while that's true and it will never not be true. So this prints infinitely. It's an infinite loop. It never stops. OK, for that reason, it's important to have something that will eventually make your condition false. Otherwise, this while loop will run forever. It will never stop running. OK, and you want it to stop running eventually, usually. Anyways, in Swift Play Playground, online Swift Playground, um, if the Swift Playground detects a infinite loop and for other reasons as well it actually terminates the code and this time it was terminated by a signal called signal 24 okay because it will not permit you to run an infinite loop because it just it just can't handle infinite loops essentially right in other versions of swift it will actually run this and you'll just get this printed out over and over again into the console really really fast like it'll print out maybe 10,000 times a second or something ridiculous like that so you want to try to avoid infinite loops um, just because, you know, the CPU heavy probably take up a lot of memory and other stuff. You just don't want them. You know, you want your loop to end eventually. Right. So you have to find a way to make the condition false like has been done here. Simple enough. I'm now going to use a multi-line comment to comment this out because I don't want it to be terminated by signal 24 anymore as I want to explore some more concepts. Another while uh, statement, and it's actually called repeat. Well, there's another loop, and it's called repeat. Okay, so we repeat something. So we'll say, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll use true value again. We'll use or we'll use true value two equals true, and we'll say count two equals true equals zero. Sorry. And we're going to pretty much copy and paste this code, right? And we're going to say repeat. Print. Hello. Whatever the heck that is. Just make up the code. And then we're going to say count equals. By the way, a faster way to, you, to add or take away from... Uh, any variable is to use plus equals or minus equals. So plus equals says just add whatever comes to the right of the equal sign to the count. So we're just going to add one to it like that. 
it's easier it's an offhand way of doing it and we're going to say if count oops it's count two by the way <laughs> so we're going to say if count two is more than four truth value two equals false simple enough and then I'm going to put while proof value 2. Okay. Run this code. Um, I'm not sure what that relates to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Course, course, course. Oops. That needs to be outside of there, doesn't it? Silly, silly me. Sorry. That needs to be outside of the loop. Sorry about that. So while truth value 2. Run that. What? How is that unidentified? Unresolved identifier. What? What? Why is that count to? Oh, I haven't declared them as variables, that's why. Silly, silly boy. Right, let's run that. And we get this text five times. Okay. However, it doesn't look different to the uh, other while statements, but it is, and I'll explain why. So here, at, when the loop ends, after the end of the loop, we assess whether this is true or not. And if it's not true, we won't run this. So at the start of the loop, sorry, we assess whether this is true. And if it isn't, we don't run this code. However, here, we run this code and then we assess if it's true still and then we run it again if it is and we do it in the opposite order so essentially instead of evaluating whether this is true or not we just run the code and then we evaluate if it's true so i'll show you a good example of that so i'll say repeat um say we'll just say variable truth value three Right, I'll just put a little bit of space there so you can all see it a bit better. I'm going to say it's equal to false. Right, and we'll say repeat um, print. We'll just print a number out. Um, doesn't matter what it is, just put any number. And then we'll say while truth value free. Okay, when we run this, what will we get? Can you guess? It prints out the number. And the reason why it prints out the number, even though the true value free is false, is because what it does first is it runs this and then it checks this value, checks the condition. And then if it isn't true, it doesn't run it again. So instead of checking the condition first, like, um, like a normal while loop would do, it runs at least one execution of the code and then it checks the value. And then if the value is true, it runs again. And then it checks the value. Okay, so rather than rather than first checking whether the condition is true, it just runs the code and then checks the condition is true, and it keeps doing that until the condition is false at the end. Right. So it's basically a while loop, but it, you know, in in reverse order essentially. And that's yeah, that's more or less it. So I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.